In this Backup Exec 2012 how-to video, I'm going to show you how to back up a device to a disk and then have it convert to a virtual machine. So first we'll go into Backup, choose the Backup to Disk and then Convert to Virtual Machine. And from here we can test or edit our credentials. We can also go in and edit and say what specifically we want to back up. We're going to choose to ignore everything except for our C drive. From here, we ha it has two different types of backups. We want to go ahead and remove the incremental. We just want to get a full of that C drive. So we'll click on Edit, and click the X, and then click OK. Next thing we want to do is to convert backup to virtual machine. To We can do VMware or Schedule, or we can edit that. So we see that we can choose the source, the full backups, the schedule. We can change that if we want from here, or we can just do a one-time backup. Convert to virtual source, full. We can submit the job on hold if we want. Here we can have a notification. If you already have a person in there, you can do that. Otherwise, you can add one here and then I'll send you an email when it's done. Conversion settings. Here you can convert by default as VMware. But you can also go to Microsoft's Hyper-V as well. So you can select the Hyper-V server name from your list of different servers and then you can put in your system logon account or if it's a different logon than the domain administrator then you can change that as well here. You can overwrite the previous virtual machine backup if you want and then you can also create the ISO image as well. Scroll down. You can say how much RAM and CPU you want to use. Go to your disk. You see all of the free space that we have available. Dynamically expanding, we can call it, we can have it automatically expand or we can edit that as well. Change that to a fixed size so it's a specific size. Dynamically expanding is always the best way to go, however. And when you're done, click OK and start the, the backup to virtual disk.